seems like every other video I'm ripping something out that I'd already done. <laughs> this is uh, where my range used to be. I have a propane leak someplace. I took it to an RV place and they are, were able to determine there is a leak but they couldn't find it. Uh, so they told me to pull the range out and the wall back behind there. And I don't think it's back there. Um, but I'm going to actually go over every fitting myself today and see if I can find it. But my advice would be um, learn from my mistakes. First of all, really thoroughly test your propane system before you wall it off. And number two, don't wall it off. <laughs> so this was uh, sheetrock here. And I'm going to put um, a piece of sheet metal back that can easily be removed. And uh, so that's my little advice for the day. Uh, but I'll show you what I've <clears throat> got going on, my other project for the day. freeway it's right around 80 decibels a little under 77 to 80 decibels so we'll see what it's like after the uh, after the hush mat so what I did is I got some hush mat and um, I'm gonna try and get it in here you can see it's pretty crowded in there back there but I'm gonna do my best to put it on the firewall on this side and then of course I can uh, put some more on the firewall on the inside and then we can see how much of a difference it makes. Talk about ripping stuff out. Yeah you can see I've uh, pulled all the rubber mats down from the cab area here and got a bit of surface rust it's not very bad down there which is not a surprise because that's what the rest of the floor in the back look like and what I did with that was uh, wire brushed it to get the rust off and then I painted it. Well here's what I got so far. This is almost done. Uh, a couple of bare spots. That's around hundred dollars worth and I need uh, quite a bit more as you can see. I've only done the interior. I want to do this uh, firewall on the other side under the hood. And here's the hush mat. I did the inside and the outside firewall. Now here's what it looks like in here now, and you can see I took uh, the remaining hush mat I had and started putting it down on the floor here. Sorry, it's really dark in here, I know. And uh, anyway, I framed this in with uh, one by four strips, ring strips. And again, I apologize, it's so dark in here. Here's how this turned out behind the range. And you can see I ran out of the diamond plate and need to go back and get some more. But gonna put some down on the floor like that so I want to take a kind of get an idea of how how much the hush mat maybe helped or didn't so um, I'm not driving at the moment but I'm just gonna crank it up and race the engine See, there's not really much difference. It's a little disappointing. So I know I probably didn't probably didn't put enough of it in here. I probably didn't put it. I you know didn't put enough of it in here. Um, 
if money was no object, I guess I would have done wanted to do the floor, the walls, the ceiling, the hood, everywhere. But this is about $150 worth. And um, I'm hoping, though, and I think it probably will make a big difference with the heat. This gets very hot here, especially this wall here. So um, I hope it's going to make a big difference with the heat, even though it hasn't made a huge difference as far as I can tell with the noise. I'm hoping this floor, this will probably help putting the insulation down here. And I can also put stuff underneath this floor. So I'm going to be doing that as well from underneath. So here's, um, as far as I got with the floor, there's foam insulation under here. And the three quarter inch furring strips insulation. I'm attaching it with these fasteners here. They go all the way through into the metal floor. And uh, I have to make this piece here to cover up here, this whatever that is there. And then I'll have to have a removable thing so I can get to this panel here. So uh, that's going to be working on next but uh, I think that's it for this week's video at least so next week um, I should be able to finish all this up and the uh, diamond plate in the back there so thanks for watching have a good week